Hey everyone and welcome to this new episode of how to create reels as a photographer. Today we are talking about sounds and we will cover what sounds, what type of sounds you can use, how you can identify what sound someone is using, how you get a sound from reels into your editing app or software on your computer. So I would say let's not waste any more time and get started. I'd say there are three different types of sounds you can use. First you have your original sound, which is the sound that comes with your video. Second there are general sounds, so if you open up the Reels app you can see that Reels is even suggesting you some songs. And you know you can search for titles and then just like pick any. And then third I'd say there are um, trending sounds, which you can split into like songs really from musicians and then also original sounds from other creators. However, be cautious. If you want to create a reel that you then want to turn into an ad, there are different rules that apply. You cannot use any sound um, for ads. There are specific sounds you can use, like original sounds and so on, but you really have to pay attention to copyrights. Okay, let's move on. How can you now identify what song one is using. Okay, so if you see the reel at the bottom, you can see the name of the song blended in. And then all you have to do is click on the icon on the side and then you get directed to a new page which is the page of the sound and then you can save the sound for later. This is important because then what you want to do is export this sound and this is what we're going to cover next. I've actually already done a reel on that that explains how you can export sound from reels because it's kind of a bit a pain. Um, it's easier with TikTok to be honest because if you go on reels and you try to save the reel, you can do that. It will be saved without a sound. There are some hacks. Usually sounds on reels are rather short. I think it's gonna change in the future. Um, once reels allows to do videos that are like one minute or something. For now it's only 30 seconds and most reels are, I don't know, seven seconds, 10 seconds, maximum 15 seconds. So if you have a sound that is like maximum 15 seconds, what you can do is search for a reel that uses the sound, share it to your story but instead of like really sharing the story to your audience, all you have to do is save it. And then you have the song exported with the video. However, if you have a sound that is longer than 15 seconds, this will obviously not work. Because the only preview you get of a reel is 15 seconds. The normal story length is 15 seconds, it won't be longer. So if you want to export a reel, how I do it is by using a screen recording app. I go to the page of the sound, I start my recording app on my phone and then I hit play and play the song in full length. After that I stop recording and then you have the song in a video in full length. All you have to do then is hover over to your editing app and create your reel. So how do you use a sound now? You have it combined with the video. So I've already showed you um, in a previous tutorial that if you use CapCut you can use their extract audio function. So you simply import the video with your audio and then you click on extract sound or extract audio then you can delete the video but the audio will stay and then you can simply go on creating your reel. It is a bit different if you edit your reel in Premiere Pro what you have to do is obviously first copying the video with the sound to your computer, then import the video with the sound. Then open it in Source Manager and here you can um, select the range, the, the length of the sound you want to include and then simply insert audio only. There is another way you can do it. You can simply select the video with your audio and drag it into your timeline. Then you could do a right click and then you click on link. And now your audio is split apart from the video and you can go ahead and delete the video and continue creating your reel. I think this video is long enough. I will cover how you can identify trending sounds, what strategies to use 
in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to really get updates when the next episode is released. Happy creating!